this is a unboxing of an eyepiece let's open and see what is inside this package which i received today so i have now opened the package and this is something really nicely shaped like an extended baseball or a squashed baseball yeah, let's open this second wrapping also. Hmm. And I'm wrapping, and this is a Wixen. This is a Wixen. So, let's see what is written. HR, all high resolution 2.4 millimeter ocular eyepiece. And there's a serial number of it. So it's exciting, I got this for planetary viewing because the time of the year that the planets like Jupiter and Venus will be visible has arrived. So let's open it, a big scent. And it's good quality already. This is a Vixen brochure. Let me just see what is written inside, if there is anything in English also. Yes, uh, I have the 2.4 version of it, 115 grams, 37 diameter by 72.6 millimeter length. And that's the design of the eyepiece. This is what I like about it, it has a field stuff at the bottom also. Kind of baffled, yeah, I should call it actually a baffle. And, uh, they can both be used uh, for direct or to the diagonal view. I like that uh, Japanese eyepiece manufacturer put the premium eyepieces inside their own bolt case. So this also has its own bolt case. And let me open it. Nicely twistable. Also like a Pentax, it has a foam at this end and foam at that end and the eyepiece comes inside this lovely package, quite chunky, a good weight it has, 116 grams as you read. The feel of it, I thought it must be smaller but quite large and nice and uh, you feel the weight of it, so that means good construction. I have to push this out. Okay, 2.4 millimeter Vixen high resolution. Two nice ice caps. Uh, ice cap. Uh, eyepiece caps. This is this side of it. And this is the other side. Okay. Yeah, that's the baffle, you see. That's just to control all the light scatter. And as you can see through here, the circle is quite tiny, so it's really and for such a tiny circle, it's quite bright, actually. So. So, now, let's do the test and see how it will be doing this Skywatcher uh, ATED Pro Series Gold version. This is the eyepiece, this is the diagonal and I will put it now to show how it looks. So let's go and see how the image looks in daylight. I must say I have a 2mm eyepiece and this is really good quality compared to that one. Much more brighter. It's almost like a microscope. And this fruits you see are probably around two three millimeters at the distance of uh, 
yeah, 15 millimeter, 15 meters. And the slightest wind moves the fruits, of course. Now we are looking at leaves. So that was the view through the Vixen HR 2.4 millimeter eyepiece. I'm happy I got this one. Uh, there was a two millimeter, two millimeter version and 1.6 millimeter version. I was worried that the light will not be enough for them. With the, you know, you're magnifying a tiny portion of the image, and that smaller amount of the photons make the image to be slightly dim. That's that is good now. I can, I'm sure now that that actually works on the moon, which is a bright, inherently bright object, and also on planets. And uh, I'm looking forward to test it and the, the field of view of it is around 40 millimeters, so that's a limitation, but that's good. To mention, and I'll mention it for manufacturers, Takahashi is a Japanese manufacturer, but I noticed that the kind of rubber they use doesn't absorb the dirt and the dandruff or anything that is around in the environment. And uh, we know that in our environment, natural environment, human beings are the most, you know, skin-shedding creatures, beside the uh, chickens, if you have. So, uh, they should use a rubber which doesn't absorb this. And the reason they absorb it is because they're electrically charged, partly. And we know that rubber have that quality for being charged. The rubber that uh, Takahashi uses doesn't absorb the dirt as easy as the Teleview or this one. So probably that is because it's, it's not electrically charged, it's always neutral. I recommend others also go and investigate the rubber and see how it is. It's not nice to have an eyepiece, it's new when you open it and it immediately absorbs dirt. choose a electronegative so a repulse <laughs> I should say electro neutral uh, rubber that doesn't absorb the dirt is not electrically charged the chance to compare this uh, Vixen HR 2.4 millimeter eyepiece with uh, this cheap ch Chinese eyepiece that I have two millimeter I think it's a Skywatcher clone or something uh, it came with a bar, uh, with its own case and its range of eyepieces up to 15 millimeter. <clears throat> I must say, this has a slightly brighter image and more clarity. This is not bad, but uh, this is something more accurate, more, you know, uh, you can see more better. You can see brighter image and uh, it comes in sharper focus. So. Yes, this definitely is sharper and brighter the image and this is not bad of course I'm telling you I have a review of this already I have a video about this probably I will put the link down here it's not bad at all but it's not sharp as sharp as this uh, as bright as this and about this it came with a whole set I think five eyepieces in a case and with lock and everything it's quite hefty and heavy before that, that was my lowest. Before this, my lowest eyepiece was this one. Now, lowest, I mean, uh, focal length. And now this one is the probably the lowest because the I have a 2.5 millimeter TMB, which uh, I should actually bring it and compare now. Okay, uh, surprisingly, TMB is not far from this. So, which one you should get? I think I've got this one. But TMB, this 21.5 millimeter, I tested in the Venus and Mercury. That was really good when I tested on them. And the image quality was comparable to orthoscopic. And now I can see that this is not far from this 2.4. 2.4 is yet the better one. It has a sharper focus, a little slightly brighter. But this one is this is really good. This is Chinese TMB design. 
and you can get it for 23 pounds depending of course now how much it has increased maybe two three pounds more or less and uh, so if I want to compare this one comes last this comes second and this comes first does the a slight uh, difference and contrast and sharpness make it worthwhile I think in this case yes but if you cannot afford 220 pound for this definitely this is a good contender it delivers around 85 to 90 percent of the image quality of this and I tested this and compared the image immediately uh, this is the HR Vixen HR 2.4 and immediately compared with the TMB Planetary 2.5 and yet this is the winner I think that is the better one of course there is a uh, you know tendency that you increase in increments uh, of the value or price of an eyepiece doesn't correspond to exact same amount of the image quality that you may receive you may see but if you are short of cash that's a good one the other one uh, I don't think you can actually find it. It's not available. I uh, was just bought a second hand. This one is a widely available, good quality if you don't want to spend too much. This is a really winner in this case. I'm using it in daylight, of course. Now. So all in all, I can say that this Vixen 2.4 is the superior. Second comes 2.5 millimeter TMB optical planetary. And then comes this Skywatcher clone 2 millimeter uh, one. Um, in general, if you don't have enough money and you don't want to spend too much money, this will deliver something to you. You can say that you have looked through one of these. This is definitely the better. If I want to say percentage, if it is 100%, this is around 80, 80 to 90%. This is around. 70% or 65% or I can increase it to 75